Hello YouTube, in this video I will show you how to use the scientific calculator uh, for solving uh, the multiple choice question related with the derivative. Here I have taken one question, let me read the question first. Uh, find the differential coefficient uh, of a to the power sin inverse x with respect to sin inverse x. Here a is constant and x is variable. We are going to perform the derivative of one function with respect to another function and the procedure uh, are little bit different we have to first uh, uh, differentiate the first functions with respect to x and uh, that result will be divided by the derivative of the second function with respect to x that means derivative of a to the power sin inverse x divided by derivative of sin inverse x with respect to x that will be the uh, result uh, in the very first step we have to note one very important point while calculating the derivative of the trigonometric functions uh, by using the calculator we have to first convert our calculator's mode into the radian mode if your calculator is in uh, degree mode then you have to convert it into the radian mode i have already made the separate video uh, on this topic i will put the link of that video in the de video description you can base it from there uh, please uh, make sure the calculator's mode should be in uh, radian mode while calculating the derivative of the trigonometric functions here four options are given uh, we are going to choose the correct one uh, first of all let's observe on the options and here options all options are uh, expressed in terms of x and a so we have to think about uh, the value of a and the value of x uh, let's move to option number a here in option a uh, the value of the a is uh, inside the log so the value of the a should not be negative and zero we cannot take the negative value and zero value for a uh, and let's move to the option number b here in option number b uh, denominator part is present so we have to uh, think about it uh, here in denominator uh, it is uh, square root of 1 minus x square uh, in, inside the square root the negative value should not be present and uh, the denominator part also not be equals to 0 uh, for that we have to choose the value of the x such that it lies between negative 1 and positive 1 if we take the value of the x between minus 1 and plus 1 then denominator part of these functions will not be equals to 0 uh, and uh, the square root uh, does not have any negative content inside it so uh, we have to take the value of the x in between minus 1 and plus 1 uh, to get the finite value of this expression let's think about uh, the option number c here in option number c the case is same we, uh, we cannot take the negative value and zero value for a in option number d uh, the case is same uh, the value of the a should not be equals to zero and negative and the value of the x uh, should uh, lies between minus one and plus one to get the finite value uh, we are going to choose uh, the value of the a and value of x such that all the options will be different and gives the finite value uh, let's take the value of the a uh, equals to 2 and the value of the uh, x equals to uh, 0 0.5 so that the conditions will be met uh, the value of the a equals to uh, 2 and the value of the x equals to 0 0.5 so the denominator will not be 0 and gives the final re uh, finite uh, result uh, okay uh, and at that conditions uh, let's calculate let's derivative let's do the derivative of these functions with respect to this function please remember that we are going to take the value of a equals to 2 and value of x equals to 0 0.5 okay uh, and let's uh, do the 
derivative here uh, let's uh, differentiate uh, the first function derivative of with respect to x here the derivative is going to be performed with respect to x uh, for the both functions we have to differentiate with respect to x and we have to divide okay uh, uh, d by dx of a to the power sine inverse x I, uh, and according to our assumption uh, a is 2 okay and uh, 2 raised to the power sine inverse x sine inverse x okay and let we have to close the parenthesis okay uh, this is our uh, first functions and the first function is going to be uh, differentiated with respect to x and let's uh, do the differentiation at a particular point uh, of x let's take the value of the x as a 0 0.5 so so that the options will be all finite okay the value of the x should be uh, between uh, minus 1 and plus 1 okay and let's divide uh, let's divide uh, this first uh, derivative uh, to the uh, uh, derivative of the second function okay and the second function is sine inverse x uh, sine inverse x uh, okay and uh, we are going to differentiate at the point 0 0.5 and let's see it the equals here the result is 0 0.9964 uh, okay let me note down uh, this result in the notepad okay the result 8 value uh, of the a equals to 2 and x equals to 0 0.5 okay the result is uh, let's uh, note down the result uh, the result is okay let's uh, note down the result result is uh, 0. Point, okay 0. 0.99642 uh, okay this is our result and let's uh, do the calculations for the options by taking the value of the a equals to 2 and the value of the x equals to 0. 0.5 we have to calculate the value of all the options and we are going to match uh, the options uh, with this value uh, okay and let's do the calculations uh, let's uh, do the calculations for the first option okay in the first options a to the power sine inverse x directly calculations okay a is here our a is 2 2 to the power sine inverse x sine inverse uh, x x is the value of the x is 0 0.5 uh, okay and we have to multiply these things with uh, log uh, with base e that means ln okay just ln ln and a a is 2 and e the equals this result is 0 0.9964 okay luckily we got our answer uh, in the first options okay the first options gives the correct answer okay and let's do the uh, let's uh, first uh, note down the result 0 0.99642 uh, okay and let's uh, do the calculations for the second options also in the second option uh, this part is common okay uh, let me just uh, edit here uh, here is uh, no log uh, log okay this part is here to the power sine inverse x and we have to divide these things uh, by square root of 1 minus 1 minus x square and x is just 0 0.5 it is square okay let's note down the value it is 1.6599 okay let's note down 1.6599 and let's do the calculation for the option c here in option c uh, okay this part is common okay A numerator is common uh, only change in the <laughs> denominator okay let me just edit this expression denominator let's uh, let's edit or the denominator let's jump to the denominator okay and here cosine of x okay cosine of x our x is 0 0.5 cosine of x this part 
first part and uh, this uh, ln a okay ln the value of the a is 2 and let's calculate the value it is uh, 1.13 let's uh, note down on the 1.1354 okay and the all options uh, are different here uh, okay up to now and let's do the same thing for option number d while calculating uh, the result uh, the options should be different so okay so that we can easily choose the correct one okay and let's do the uh, same thing for the option number uh, d here in option number d uh, this in option number c and d the numerator part is same only change in the denominator okay let me just edit here and let's divide okay let's jump to the uh, denominator part okay here uh, this should be square root okay sorry we have to put in the denominator let's move to the uh, square root of 1 minus x square 1 minus x is 0 0.5 and it is square and here the equals it is 1.150 okay 1.150 0 5 okay and here we can uh, see that all the options are different okay these all options are different and finite also and uh, our result uh, from the question is just uh, 0 0.9962 and this uh, match to option a so the option a is the correct answer uh, you can take uh, other value of the a uh, but the condition is there the value of the a it should not be negative okay negative and zero you can take uh, others value other than zero and negative value of a and you can take uh, other value of x also but the condition is that the value of the x uh, should lies between negative one and positive one okay if you take uh, the another value uh, uh, beyond that limit okay beyond that boundary if you take the value of the x equals to 2 then square inside the square root the negative value will be appeared that means imaginary number if you take the value of the x uh, exactly equals to 1 then the denominator will be 1 so we cannot take the value of the uh, x other than uh, in between minus 1 and plus 1 we, we should keep, uh, we should uh, take the value of the x in between uh, minus 1 and plus 1 okay please remember that things video conclusion is that uh, we have to first observe on the options and according to the options uh, we have to take the value of the variables and constant our main uh, target is uh, to make the options different and finite so that we can uh, easily uh, choose the correct answer okay uh, thank you for watching this video